Balance tasks, where the body's center of pressure must be voluntarily moved with accuracy and reactive time constraints, are functional balance tests, which can be characterized by components of static as well as dynamic balance. Using the Limits of Stability test module, you can measure the subject's ability to voluntarily shift his or her center of pressure as quickly and as widely as possible. Based on the measurements of the subject's limits of stability, specific characteristics of the other test modules, like shape and curve tracking, are defined. Enter the Limits of Stability test module from the main window by clicking on the Limits of Stability button. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. Consistently with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and the central signals and results area. Before starting the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. First, the number of directions in which the test is performed must be chosen. You can choose between four directions or eight directions. Then define the position of the upper extremities where you can choose among hands positioned on the hips, freely positioned, crossed over the chest, or positioned behind the neck. Afterwards, determine the stance position where you can choose among parallel stance, semi-tandem stance, tandem stance, single leg stance on the left leg or single leg stance on the right leg. To define the footwear, you can choose among barefoot, running shoes, walking shoes, or high heels. To start with a measurement, click on the New Measurement button. After launching the test module and clicking New Measurement, Initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before starting with the measurements, the subject must assume an appropriate initial position, which is determined with the input parameter. The subject must place their focus on the computer screen. The goal of the task is to move the center of pressure against the marked spot on the screen as quickly as possible. Initiate the measurement by clicking the Start button. If the subject falls or moves, the measurement needs to be repeated. The measurement stops automatically after the predetermined time period. It can also be stopped manually by pressing the stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, thus not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the COP measured by the force plate. If the settings for analysis were changed after the measurement was completed, you can reanalyze the data by clicking on Analyze. The vertical ground reaction force signal can be viewed under the Signals tab. In the Settings section, Direction-specific ground reaction forces can be added and viewed later. The data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. The results parameters are divided into different groups separated by blue headings. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed under the Parameters View menu in the right panel. 
For more information on this topic, please refer to Tutorial 7.